Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. It's Tuesday, September 29th, 2020. And we begin with a big night in the U.S. presidential race. Tonight is the first debate between President Trump and his Democratic challenger, former Vice President Joe Biden. It begins at 9 p.m. Eastern in Cleveland, Ohio, and is scheduled to last for 90 minutes. Several adjustments are being made due to the pandemic. The two will not shake hands at the start, which is the norm. An elbow bump was considered, but both sides decided that would be pretty awkward. Neither man will wear a mask, and the audience will be limited to about 75 people who will all have been tested for COVID-19 beforehand. There will be two more presidential debates next month. And next week will be the only vice presidential debate between current VP Mike Pence and Mr. Biden's running mate, Senator Kamala Harris. In sports news, the NBA Finals are all set. In a razor-close series, the Miami Heat finished off the Boston Celtics to set up a final showdown against the L.A. Lakers, a bi-coastal matchup with a lot of intrigue. First, Lakers star LeBron James will be facing off against his former team, who he helped earn two championships in 2012 and 2013. And Heat President Pat Riley will be facing the team he coached to four championships in the 1980s. Game one is tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern, and like the entire COVID-shortened season, will take place in the bubble of the Disney World Arena in Orlando, Florida. And this year's NHL season is over. The Tampa Bay Lightning won hockey's Stanley Cup final last night, beating the Dallas Stars 2 to nothing in Game 6. Two states are taking a stand to fight pollution. Starting on Thursday, Maryland will be the first in the U.S. to ban the use of foam containers for carryout, as well as single-use cups, plates, and trays. The law affects not just food service, but any business that uses these items, including schools. The ban was supposed to go into effect on July 1st, but was delayed three months due to the pandemic. And to the north, get your reusable bags ready, New Jersey. This week, the state legislature voted to ban single-use paper bags in supermarkets and single-use plastic bags in restaurants and stores. We know that plastics can take hundreds of years to break down, but New Jersey is the first state in the country to ban paper bags. According to the New York Times, making them slurps up a lot of energy and spews greenhouse emissions. If Governor Philip Murphy signs the bill, it will go into effect in about a year and a half. I'm not sure how much someone would be willing to pay for your sneakers, but eight pairs are up for auction right now online through the prestigious auction house Sotheby's, and they're expected to rake in some really big bucks. These ultra-rare, artist-created shoes were all made by Nike. They're test samples or one-off editions, like the Pigeon Nike Dunk Low, which were inspired by New York's pigeons. This shoe has two shades of gray with a bright orange outsole, like the bird's foot. Other pairs up for sale were designed by a Japanese illustrator, an American graffiti artist, and a French expressionist. The fancy footwear belong to a New York-based sneaker collector and together are valued at more than $200,000. The online bidding ends tomorrow. Joseph Grissomore of Park Rapids, Minnesota is rocking a new Guinness World Record for tallest mohawk. His hairy high-rise tops off at 42 and a half inches, which is about three and a half feet. He's six feet tall, but now with his hair, more than nine. How much shellac does it take to stay that way? Grissomore says, surprisingly little. His stylist just teases it until it barely budges. It took him seven years to grow his hair, so he's pretty proud of it. But he can't show it off 24-7. He works as an essential worker at a healthcare facility and usually keeps it braided and in two knots to avoid sitting on it. That's it for Kid News. A big thanks to all our super generous donors during our fall fundraising drive. If you'd like to make a tax-deductible donation to support the only daily news podcast just for kids, you can go to our website, www.kidnews.org. Now, the Kid News Quiz. Why is this a big day in the presidential race? The first debate will take place tonight. What two teams are facing off in the NBA final?
the Miami Heat, and the L.A. Lakers. Which state is banning foam food containers? Maryland. What is the new world record for tallest mohawk? Forty-two and a half inches. In one for the road. The birth of a baby usually doesn't make news unless that baby is nearly six feet tall. That's the case at Disney World's Animal Kingdom, where a baby giraffe named Masai was born a few days ago. She's not only six feet, but already weighs in at a hundred fifty-six pounds. Masai and her mom will stay out of public view for a few weeks, but once she hits her growth milestones, she'll join the safari herd, according to the Disney Parks blog. Before we go, here's Kim with today's Kid News shoutouts. Thanks, Tori. We want to give a big Kid News salute today to Mrs. Zafudo and her students at Dubois Area Middle School in Dubois, Pennsylvania. Ms. Coburn's class at Spirit Lake Middle School in Spirit Lake, Iowa, and Mrs. Youth students at North Park Elementary School in Valencia, California. Our birthday shoutouts today go to Dylan and Josephine in Stony Brook, New York. In Florida, Bennett in Tallahassee and Arlene in Vero Beach, Ella in Kent, Ohio, Levi in Washington, Illinois, Samantha in Clarkston, Michigan, in California, Rusty in Beaumont and Tallis in Hillsboro, Coraline in Belvedere, Illinois, in Texas, Henry in Austin and Connor in San Antonio, and Kiara in Fort Mill, South Carolina. Thanks for listening, everyone, and we hope you tune in for more Kid News tomorrow morning.